fine line because when we have all these outdoor events, mm -hmm. we're like, okay, we want the rain to hold off, and mm -hmm. now yeah. we're in a bit of a situation here. And you know what? Tis the season for bonfires, but you really don't <laughs> need it right now with those warm temps, Brian. You don't, and if you're cooking out uh, and you're in the areas that aren't under the burn ban, you probably want to have that hose close by just in case you don't want to get a, a grass fire or something going. But uh, anyhow, we need some rain, and there's not much chance again this week, unfortunately. We'll see a few high clouds return to the area tonight. That'll be after midnight into tomorrow morning. Uh, still mild temperatures tonight. Cool to mild readings in the 50s, uh, upper 50s expected here in the Dayton area. And then warm and dry again on Tuesday, even though we will see a few more clouds around. Maybe not quite as warm as today. And then a slight shower chance comes our way Wednesday afternoon into Wednesday evening. But otherwise, it looks like dry conditions and summer temperatures, low humidity, uh, really for the most part throughout the week. So we'll just keep drying things out even more. 80 degrees at 7 o'clock, sunny skies with 72 at 9 p.m., 66 at 11 o'clock, and then eventually finding our way into the upper 50s tomorrow morning. 60 at 8 with partly cloudy skies, and that's the way it'll be throughout the day. 83 at 5 o'clock. We'll see those temperatures come down fairly quickly this evening, dropping down to 59 around. 6 a.m. and then low to mid 80s across the north 84 Troy Springfield Urbana uh, looks like about 83 Wapkoneta Salina and down here in the Dayton area tomorrow it looks like uh, up into the mid 80s around 84 in the afternoon with those partly sunny skies and still a few more clouds possible in the area on Wednesday along with that slight chance of showers uh, keeping highs mostly in the low to mid 80s. Right now you're seeing a lot of sunshine out there, a few fair weather clouds floating around on the Jeff Schmidt Auto Group camera, but sunshine right now on US 35 and dry weather on live Doppler 2 HD. We have a low pressure center moving inland across the Carolinas. Uh, the problem is a mountain range right through here, the Appalachians, as this moisture uh, plows up against the mountains, it gets wrung out. Uh, drier weather on the other side of the mountains as uh, we get some lee side uh, sinking motion uh, moving into Kentucky and Ohio. So that's going to limit our chances of rain holding together, not to mention a strong area of high pressure over the northeast. Plenty of dry weather in place, uh, so very low rain chances again this week. 0% Tuesday, slight chance of showers Wednesday. We'll bookend it with some more dry weather at the end of the week. 85 right now with an east-southeast wind at 9. The relative humidity, 31%. Our weather checkers tonight, Jeff Cador up in Bell Center, 82. Dwayne Holleran, uh, Terry Hutt, 83 degrees. And Jason Thompson in Brookville at 85, looking at some upper 80s with Barbara Richards in Kettering. Here's your forecast tonight. We expect mostly clear skies, 58 for the low, east winds 5 to 10. Partly sunny and warm tomorrow, an afternoon high of 84, winds out of the east at about 5 to 12. And a slight chance of an afternoon evening shower on Wednesday, 83. 84 Thursday and warming up again Friday and into the weekend with highs reaching the upper 80s.